starts now on 21 Alive. Well, for the next half hour, we are foregoing the traditional newscast to pay tribute to our friend, a colleague, and a member of our family. You all know Melissa Long, but you might want to take a trip down memory, uh, memory lane with us and get to know her a little better. TV's Melissa Long, this is your life. <laughs> Melissa Ann Hunter was born in Fort Wayne at Lutheran Hospital on April 10, 1958, the second of three children born to Fred and Mary Ann Hunter. She was a tiny baby. She just barely, you know, missed getting to the incubator. But she was, she was a good baby. She did not, you know, give me any problems at all. Melissa has two brothers, Matt, the eldest, and Mark. All three were born and raised here in Fort Wayne. Melissa has described her early years as idyllic. She had loving parents and brothers with whom she got along. Their childhood years lacked much fighting and contained all the drama of a Leave it to Beaver episode. Matt remembers it as a wonderful time. I mean, I'm not saying I never teased her, that we didn't have disagreements or things like that, but it was never anything long standing. We always had pretty complimentary personalities. We were both probably pretty talkative and, and humor was a big part of things. Of course, there were moments when Melissa seemed to forget she was the sister and tried to seize control by playing mom. Uh, she was oh, fine. I mean, she was always a good sister. She's always been a bit, a bit bossy. My dad had a nickname. He called her I Led Five Lives. As I got a little bit older and went away to college, she started treating me more like a second mother and uh, was concerned whether I was drinking or not and how late I was out. And she'd be the one up waiting for me when I, when I got home. Despite those moments, it was obvious from an early age that Melissa had inherited the fun, personable traits that television audiences would fall in love with years later. Her mother believes they came from one part of the family in particular. It kind of reminded me of my uh, uncles, my mother's brothers, who were <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Uncle Puss, Uncle Fritz, Uncle Heine. <laughs> and, you know, one of them played the banjo, and they all sang, and they were all very outgoing, gregarious, and we were around them a lot. After attending Anthony Wayne Elementary School, Melissa went to Portage Junior High, and in the fall of 1972, she entered Elmhurst High School. She was always involved in a myriad of activities from theater to band to cheerleading and much more. We just called her Harriet High School also because, you know, she, she had her picture in the yearbook more than anybody else. If she saw somebody taking pictures for the yearbook, she would manage to get over there and strike some kind of a pose. So they'd want to take her picture. And it worked. While at Elmhurst, Melissa met Matt's college roommate, one David Long. After graduating from DePaul University, she and David married in June of 1982 at St. John's Lutheran Church in Fort Wayne. After a brief move to California, the Longs returned to Fort Wayne, and Melissa was hired at WGL Radio in October 1983. Over the next nine months, she worked in radio and started in television, doing news cut-ins on WFFT. In July 1984, she was hired by Hilliard Gates and Dick Floria as part of the NBC 33 team. During her time on the air at Channel 33, she became a mother, giving birth to Adam in 1987 and Eric in 1991. Eric remembers how well she juggled the challenges of a growing family and a full-time career. With the late nights, um, the acting on the weekends, the volunteering, it's a very demanding lifestyle. She was always busy, but she never let it interfere with the family. She'd come home in between shows and cook phenomenal meals. Um, we'd spend time on the weekends. She's just a regular mom. David, who was building a successful career that would take him to the top of the Indiana State Senate, knows the scheduling issues were overcome simply because of Melissa and her ability to make it work. The reason it's worked is because Melissa is a special person. A lot of people work tough jobs. This one uh, is uh, because she also was married to a spouse that had time commitments, made it even tougher. And um, I just, I take my hat off to her. She made it work. Of course, most of her working life has been spent here at 21 Alive. She started here in October of 1992, and less than two years later, she moved to the Evening News, where for more than 20 years, she deftly moved from serious news stories to sparring and goofing off with her coworkers. But nice. What are you talking about? <laughs> 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 
I'm gonna put a hex on you. But she will miss you guys. I will tell you that. She will. She. That's the thing that she's going to. She's dreading a little bit, not seeing you and Tommy and her other friends at the station every day. At times, like many working parents, Melissa would bring her kids to work, sometimes bringing children into the newsroom, an environment known to house a child or two, led to even more hijinks than normal. I remember I was probably like 12 or 13. Well, Tommy and Curtis and I got into a, a paper ball fight in the newsroom while the show was on air. And I remember trying to like, to throw the paper wads under and over the camera, make sure it wasn't in the shot. This is never gonna be on the air. I remember after the show ended, it like the entire newsroom got into it. My mom, you know, she finally could could get in on the action and, and it's just a really funny memory for me. Most of the time it was business as usual and no one has ever done it better than Melissa. Over the years she has won numerous awards as Fort Wayne's favorite news anchor and television personality. Her brother Mark had the opportunity to write articles about her winning some of those awards and was honored to do so. It was always very easy because she's uh, very genuine. I mean, she, um, and she takes a joke, so I could, I could have a lot of fun with it. And knowing that she would laugh, no matter, basically no matter what I said. But it was always very easy because I'm, you know, I'm proud of her as a you know, little brother. I always looked up to her and um, I still do. Now, as retirement becomes a reality, her family is excited for Melissa as she enters the next stage of life. It's never felt strange or different having Melissa along as my mom because it's always felt so natural for her to be doing what she does. Her personality, her fun-loving nature, her genuine care for the community of Fort Wayne, it's always felt like a perfect fit and we've always supported it. That's not gonna change in this next step in life. I know a lot of people feel like she's family. They feel that connection with her. And that's a beautiful thing. I'm, I'm so happy for her that she has these memories to look back on now. For those closest to her, her mother and husband, this is a time of mixed emotions. They will miss Melissa on TV, but look forward to spending more time with her and to seeing what she will do next. Yeah, I'm gonna miss that, and I know she's gonna uh, be very sad about it, but also I know that I'm gonna get to spend more time with her, which for me is great. But um, yeah, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna miss her being on TV. Of course I will. We all get older, and at some point in time, maybe you know, it's, uh, we age out of a job or something. It's not the case with Melissa. She always looks 10 years younger than she is. Uh, she's, but she's doing this on her own, uh, and uh, I think she's ready, and that's the key thing. She wasn't before, she is now. She'll be around, she'll be a part of Fort Wayne, and uh, she'll, she always will be. Melissa Long, a part of the story of Fort Wayne. A daughter, a sister, a wife, a mother, a television icon, and part of all of our lives. My goodness. <laughs> That was just overwhelming. What a beautiful job you did. And I know Krista Miller helped you with it. And I'm just so touched. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll have Thank more you. after this. <laughs> Create your own unique bathroom with. Well, we are continuing our uh, send off to Melissa here. Fantastic video, wasn't that? That I was that. unbelievable. I wish such I'll, a surprise. Right. Well, I wish you look around, you see pretty much everyone here is, is watching the, the newscast. They're wishing you well, and a lot of folks in the community are wishing you well uh, too. So let's play some of that. You got to see this. Okay. Good evening. I'm Melissa Long. Melissa's a uh, superb news anchor. She's very knowledgeable of the marketplace. She has a tremendous following in Fort Wayne, and I find it a tremendous pleasure to work with her every morning. Melissa's just a dear friend, you know, one of those upbeat personalities, bubbly, who, you know, you, it's always a great experience, a great interaction, and uh, boy, we are going to miss her. Melissa has been just a, a, an absolute uh, uh, stalwart in this community. Um, she, she is an icon. Um, she's going to be missed, and uh, Melissa, love you. The fact that you put in many, many, many years of public service, I think, speaks volumes for you as an individual. So again, congratulations. Enjoy retirement. You earned it. We here at University of St. Francis wish you well in the future, and I do hope to get to see you from time to time. Melissa, I just want to tell you how much I really have enjoyed 
working with you. I wish you the best. You're too young to retire. Hi, Fort Wayne. This is Charles Gibson. And Joan London with 21 Alive's Melissa Long in New York City. It has been such a pleasure working with you through the years and watching you at work. You're a terrific journalist, and this community is so lucky to have you on our side. Thanks for all you've done. Enjoy your retirement. We're going to miss you. Don't be a stranger. We all love you, and thank you for giving so much to our community for so many years. Have a great, great retirement. Good luck. You've done a great job. Everybody loves you in this town, and I hope you don't disappear. Stay involved in life somehow so we can see you and talk to you. You're too good to miss. I hope you have the time now to pursue all of your passions, but we will absolutely miss you. I want to say happy retirement. I'm extremely jealous. You know, you and I had our broadcast careers together. We had our babies together. You were in a play with my mom. I would see your mom at all of those events that we would MC together. I enjoyed each and every moment of hanging with you, girl. And I look forward to doing that way into our years of retirement. So best of luck. Miss you and love you. It's been a real pleasure. There will never be another one like you. And we really want to wish you all the best. Thank you. It's a show that I really enjoy doing because I do learn a lot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you all have put so much work into this. It is unbelievable. There was me. some detective work going on, but, but I, hope you, I hope you realize how much everyone's going to miss you. Well, if I don't, I'm an idiot right now. <laughs> I, uh, maybe that uh, would be agreed to by some of my compadres. But Furnish shakes his head. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's just been amazing. And we've got more to come. Stay with us. Forget about Secret Santa. At Fort Wayne Nissan, Santa says no hidden fees and no gimmicks. As we send Melissa off in style, I told you there was going to be more to come, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I don't think you were expecting <laughs> this. No. I don't think so. So no. to help us explain what's going to go on, let's hear from Governor Pence, who sent a nice <gasps> little note. Hi, I'm Governor Mike Pence. To Melissa Long, to all of her family and friends and faithful viewers, I wanted to add my voice of congratulations on 30 years of outstanding journalism on the airwaves of Fort Wayne. I also wanted to lend my uh, thanks and admiration in the form of the state's highest honor. Sagamore of the Wabash was established more than a half century ago by one of my predecessors, and from time to time, uh, we present the Sagamore to individuals who through their integrity, through their service to the community, and through their example, uh, have inspired and bettered our state. And Melissa Long, uh, you certainly fit the bill. So to all that are gathered here tonight to celebrate 30 years of your outstanding service and devotion to this community and the high standards that you've set in journalism, as governor of the state of Indiana, it's my privilege to present you today the Sagamore of the Wabash. Congratulations on 30 years and uh, every blessing to you and your family for many more prosperous years to come. So we have the governor on video and we have a lot of folks here to see you. You know Steve Shine, of, of course. course. Good to see you, dear. Mwah. Congratulations. Thank you so much. State Senator Jim Banks is here Thank along you. with City Thank Councilman you. Jeff Hanna. Hi, Jeff. And Jim so has on behalf of the governor, the Sagamore of the Wabash, which goes to the first lady of Fort Wayne Television. <laughs> Oh and Melissa, goodness. I must have to say this, it's uh, ironic, the twists in life, because I was in the studio on your very first night at <laughs> Super 55, if you remember yes, that. You <laughs> and here I am on your last night at oh, 21 Alive. Dang. And it's been a wonderful career to watch, 30 years of excellence in Fort Wayne television news. Thank you so much. I'm just overwhelmed right now, and thank you both for being here, and thanks to the governor, and I'm just, uh, I know, I. I'm speechless. I just really don't know what else to say, but it's been my honor and privilege to to be involved with everyone's life uh, ev every night, and I will treasure this uh, to be sure. So thank you, everyone. I, I'm just overwhelmed, so I guess I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Couldn't go to a better person. <laughs> thank yeah. you so much. Don't be a dope shop at Kaleidoscope. 
your dream kitchen. Your choice at Stuckey's. Bye. Your news continues on 21 Alive News at 5. Welcome back. There are so many comments about Melissa that have been pouring into our Facebook page. We wanted to take another moment to kind of go through them and, and share some of them with you. And we'll start with Diane, who writes, I will miss Melissa for her ready smile and bubbly on-air personality. She knows how to mix humor and fun with professionalism. It's like she's a best friend without ever having met her in person. Being retired myself, I can appreciate her desire to cut back, relax, and not have to be on a schedule. Hugs from Diane. On to Kay, who writes, always upbeat with a cheerful voice, but speaking with truth and facts of the daily news. I love her laugh and will miss the constant jabbing from Curtis. They made a great team and she'll be missed. Hard to replace her. Never will be the same. Tearful, upside down smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll finish with Betty, who says, I've always loved Melissa. What impresses me the most is not only how good she is at her job, but how she can laugh at herself as she jokes with everyone. She's going to be really missed by all of us. So long, Melissa. Hope you can return to the station once in a while and update us on your retirement. And I'm pretty sure we'll see you around here from time to time. We certainly <laughs> hope so. We'll be right back. What's inside the bag? With Legos in all right, we are back as we continue to wish uh, Melissa a happy retirement. Uh, just uh, sort of some breaking news that's been uh, brought into the newsroom. I understand the Auto Collision Service on US 24 oh, is wishing you well on their big sign. I, that's what I, they're <laughs> friends of ours. We've given them lots of business over the years with two teenage boys, but that's very, Blame very sweet. Very, very sweet. I yeah. love it. This whole thing has just been incredible i just had no what idea. did you expect i don't today? know i i knew you were working on things and sneaking <laughs> around and nathan france uh, was working and tapes kept disappearing from my <laughs> desk and i, I just but i, I had only stole your phone 19 times to get i had <laughs> no expectation of anything like that and the sagamore the wabash and my goodness, it's just been incredible, and everyone in the station standing around, and I, I just, I mean, I'm never going to forget it. It's just been amazing, and you all are amazing, and I'm just uh, overwhelmed. I really am. Good. <laughs> that, was, that was the desired Good. outcome? Yes, that's what well, we were it, going for. It worked. <laughs> it worked. It worked. You know, we are going to come back at 6 o'clock, as we always do. We're going to do some news, and yeah. then uh, you're going to be able to... Have the floor. Uh -huh. Tell us your thoughts. I'll be on the floor crying, probably. <laughs> but. We'll be back in a few.